What's going on everybody? If you've got an NVIDIA PC, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up your control panel. And then there you can find all the options that I'm going to be using here and the manage 3D settings. Looking at vertical sync, this is an important feature and a lot of people are confusing it with V-Sync and FreeSync. So I'll explain it as easy as possible without too much of the technical mumbo jumbo. So what we do is we have FreeSync, V-Sync and G-Sync. What are the differences, okay? So it goes like this. You have a problem with video games on PC where the frame rates are just way too high for the refresh rates of most monitors or TVs. So you have this turned off, you're going to see frame tearing because they're not synchronizing with one another. And that's going to lead to, again, those little lines that go across the screen and just really break apart and look really bad. You don't want that, right? So then you turn on VSync and you find that you have a very, very smooth, fluid image but now you're running into a new problem, and that problem is now you have added latency when you're online. Offline, you have slight delay. It's nowhere near the effect as it would be online. So if you're online and you're competitively gaming, this is going to add to some latency, and it's going to be a huge deterrent for a lot of people. Now, if you don't want to deal with that, then you can go to adaptive uh, V-Sync and what adaptive V-Sync does is basically turns off FreeSync when it thinks it or sorry V-Sync when it thinks it doesn't need it. Problem is anytime you turn this off you're gonna get frame tearing. So yes adaptive does give you frame tearing and I can't stand frame tearing. Um, but everything else is mostly smooth. It's better than with it just being on because you get the input lag benefit. So if you're online you could do adaptive um, but then there is adaptive half the refresh rate. Never use this. It's literally just a stuttery mess. I, I really don't recommend it. Um, then you have fast. VSync fast is basically like a mix between adaptive and VSync on. What it does is it smooths out the image mostly, but it, it has a little problem where you can run into these little micro stutters where your, your image can start getting choppy and like looking like it's bogging down. So you would think it's your GPU or something it's slowing down, but it's not. It's just the way that this technology works, and I don't recommend it unless you're going online. So in essence, if you're going online, this is what I recommend. Turn on the uh, fast sync, but if you're offline gaming, use vertical sync on. I game every day with vertical sync on, as you can see, by my settings. Now for G-Sync, G-Sync is the hybrid, if you will, and so is... Uh, uh, FreeSync, it's the hybrid of this. So it basically is like adaptive technology. Uh, uh, NVIDIA is kind of like a proprietary, very closed off standard where they kind of do everything in house. And FreeSync is a very open standard that is cheaper to manufacture. Now, the idea behind this is simple. It's okay. NVIDIA wants you to pay more money, but again, they all are doing the same thing, right? So it's synchronizing your refresh rates of your game to your monitor, but it's allowing you to take advantage of everything without the frame tearing that vertical sync off would have. So if you were to turn vertical sync off and say, hey, listen, I want the most blazing fast frame rates, you're going to get uh, screen tearing and G-Sync and FreeSync just fix that. That's really all it is. It's basically the benefit of having this on where everything's smooth all the time and you also get the frame rate benefits. That's what, again, V-Sync and G-Sync are all about. But honestly, I don't really care about frame rates that much. All I care about is getting a smooth 60 FPS, and this will lock your frame rates to 60 FPS, and you're good to go there. You even have a setting here after the new uh, driver updates. I say new, but I mean, it's only been out for like two months or whatever. Um, you have, where is it? You can change your frame rate here under max frame rate right, where you can limit how many FPS that you want, right, and I'm on a TV, so obviously I don't really care about all that other stuff, so I limit it to 60 FPS, but of course, you can go all the way up to 240, so these are new options that you have with NVIDIA, I don't know what AMD has on their side of things, but basically that's it, I mean, it's really quite simplified, if you're online, make sure that you use uh, the FreeSync, or I keep saying FreeSync, they're so easy to mix up, the VSync Fast option, right? Use VSync fast, lock it in, you're good to go. Otherwise, use uh, vertical sync on and you're good to go there. That being said, thanks for watching the number one brand in honesty. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.